Lovling. I want to talk to you uh, about the comic books I've been uh, reading lately. Now, I thought maybe a good way to introduce myself to this channel is kind of slowly let you guys know what I'm doing. And I'm a big comic book fan, in case you haven't noticed, with uh, my own channel. And I'm currently reading roughly like 15, 17 titles a month at this moment. And I thought I'd let you know what I'm currently looking at and what my thoughts are generally. Uh, I may do this like once every few months, maybe once every three or four months if uh, you guys be interested. You know, just to kind of keep you updated because these comic book companies, I don't know if you know this, tend to switch stuff up around a lot these days. Uh, where you could, in the old days, you could really get consistently stuck on a book for a good long while. Uh, but now that's not the case. As a matter of fact, there are uh, kind of three big titles I used to read and then I quit for a while, and now I'm back in a big way. And of course I'll start off with uh, The Amazing Spider-Man, which is by Nick Spencer, and I know a lot of people have been doubting uh, and avoiding Nick Spencer since Sequel Empire. But, hey, to be honest, like, you may want to kind of forgive him for that because he has been solid on Amazing Spider-Man. Uh, this is the most I've enjoyed this title for a good long while. I took a 10-year break on this character because of Brand New Day. And there were times where I thought about getting back into it with Dan Slott. Occasionally he would come up with an interesting story, and I thought, okay, maybe I'll jump back on, and then no, 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 I'll stay off. Well, it finally broke me with uh, this run, and it's been excellent. I've been so happy. This has been a really good year or so of, of being an amazing Spider-Man fan. Also... Uh, I've been picking up uh, Miles Morales' Spider-Man. Now, uh, let's see, I think some of his work uh, with uh, Brian Michael Bendis has been like a little uh, bit of on the ups and downs, um, but this run, which is, let's, uh, let's see, Saladin Ahmed has been wonderful. I've been really liking uh, the storylines he's been doing. This uh, recent uh, story arc where he was caught and experimented on, and we don't even know the full extent of uh, our villain's purposes, where he's rescued by his family, great arc. This is a really good story. Now, this is particularly a really thrilling one. It's very claustrophobic. Uh, I've been liking this quite a bit. Um, also, speaking of titles like I took a break on, is Wonder Woman. And... It was one of those titles I definitely got frustrated with during New 52 and stepped away from and then came back uh, with Rebirth. And I am enjoying right now, uh, let's see, G. Willow Wilson's uh, run on Wonder Woman. Uh, there was a few issues where it felt like it, it was going places, but I wasn't sure where. And you're just kind of going with the flow uh, where the individual issues weren't really knockouts, but you could see them progressing. And... Once she got to the end of this big story arc, it's been kind of like pretty exciting. You can see all the pieces come together. Uh, really enjoy it. She understands Wonder Woman very well. It's a really good book. Also, there's been, I don't know, I haven't heard anybody talking about Come Back to Me, the miniseries. Uh, let's see. And that's by uh, Amanda Connor. Who else is doing this? Uh, uh, Jimmy uh, Plumini. Sorry, I always mess up your name. And there's some really interesting, some really nice artwork in this book. By the way, the story is kind of decent. It's a fun, dumb story with people coming back in different times uh, on this island. She's just trying to rescue Steve. It's an okay story. It's decent, but the art is really, really gorgeous to look at. I'm really, I'm, di I'm liking it quite a bit. Uh, it's not like blowing me away, but it's a fun read when I pick it up. Uh, also, Fantastic Four, I can't be more excited to have them back. Dan Slott, as I mentioned uh, earlier with Amazing Spider-Man, is just tearing it up on this book. Uh, I love Fantastic Four, and when Fantastic Four is done well, uh, I enjoy the hell out of it. And this is no different. Uh, this is a particularly good issue where <laughs> the kids are getting their licenses to fly vehicles. I know, it's the Marvel Universe. Uh, also, there's currently a miniseries from Ark Wade uh, with the Invisible Woman getting her involved with spy stuff, and boy, is this fun. Uh, also, Mark Wade is having a lot of fun uh, being inventive with her superpowers. Like, he's 
been almost issue after issue coming up with an interesting use for her powers. Uh, and it, it's kind of fun just watching him kind of like tear up with it. Also, the art is really interesting. It's kind of that realistic, uh, almost photorealistic uh, type of art, which, you know, makes the situation she's getting into a little bit more grounded. Uh, it's really nice stuff. Uh, let's see. Uh, Matty uh, DeLuis, I can't pronounce any name anymore. Uh, I like this one quite a bit. And also, let's go over to the Team Marvel here. And I'll start with Miss Marvel. And yeah, uh, G. Willow Wilson has like jumped ship and gone over to Wonder Woman. Uh, Saladin Ahmed, who I mentioned, uh, is really doing a great job with uh, Miles Morales Spider-Man. I've enjoyed uh, this book so far. Uh, we took uh, Kamala on to a space adventure. She's been given a new costume, which kind of like is, uh, um, let's see, it's kind of Kree tech, and it's kind of following her uh, mental orders, even though I don't think she's kind of aware how it works just yet. It's very, very Spider-Man black suit symbiote, which I very much suspect we're going in a similar fashion, which is fine. I could go for seeing Kamala put in a situation like this. Uh, the art's really interesting. I do, uh, let's see, this is uh, Mick Yu Jung. Uh, I mean, I wonder if the colors are a little bit too faded. Uh, that's a, the colorist, obviously. But uh, I really do love the, the, uh, the facial expressions, uh, the very obvious uh, different character designs. You know who's who, uh, which can always be an issue with some uh, artists. And it has a real good, strong personality of its own. Um, I really like this quite a bit. Uh, I was a little worried when uh, Wilson was taking uh, leave of the series, but I'm, I'm really happy. Uh, let's do a transitional here. Uh, Marvel Team Up is back. I used to really love Marvel Team Up as a kid. It's one of my favorite books uh, reading it. It was Spider-Man, and this one has Miss Marvel hosting it. Uh, the first arc with Mar Miss Marvel and Spider-Man is great and a very enjoyable read. This one, uh, let's see, the art isn't as strong as the Spider-Man one, but the writing I'm really enjoying because I don't really see Kamala team up with her hero enough. And uh, they are on this mystery trying to figure out who is stealing Kree tech, and it seems to be uh, the original Captain Marvel, and then it turns out to be more of a twist on that idea. Uh, a lot of fun. I also like to see, uh, like I said, Carol and uh, Kamala kind of work together on this uh, because this is a story that's very important to them specifically. And let's transition from that to Captain Marvel. Uh, Kelly Thompson has been doing such a great job with this book. Uh, she was definitely one of the artists, excuse me, one of the writers I hope that eventually start writing uh, Captain Marvel. And she's been getting into the heart of why I really like this character. She's this character who is like trying her best to be like a, a strong force in the Marvel Universe, a strong role model, but she's a person with very clear flaws and she's doing her best to live up to that stuff. And this current arc, Fallen Star, is excellent. Um, where her powers are failing, all of Earth learns that she's half Kree and starts to not trust her. There's this new hero named Star just showing up out of nowhere, showing her up. Um, man, this is really good. And I understand that, you know, there is some sort of, like, story where she becomes evil with an all-black suit. So that's actually only increased the tension as far as, like, you know, where Carol is going and what how this is going to turn out. I have no idea where it's, this is going. Um, great book. This is the best this book has been in a while. Also, I really enjoyed the Life of Captain Marvel miniseries, which took place just before this. Uh, you should pick that up and trade. It's really good. And speaking of Captain Marvel, uh, I don't understand Marvel's relationship with IDW. So this is one of their Marvel action books, and they've started doing a Captain Marvel one. And I picked it up because I like Captain Marvel. I uh, really dug the art. It was kind of nice to see because, uh, like, just a second ti uh, title... This is from Sam Mags, and the artist's name is Sweeney Boo. Hello. Hi, Sweeney Boo. Um, I almost picked up just based on that. Uh, when I saw the art on Twitter and, and someone was talking about, oh, hey, Sweeney Boo's on this book. Like, okay, is, like, one of the ponies from My Little Pony doing a book? Okay. 
Um, it's fun. Um, a little more cartoony art. Um, the characters are right in line with uh, the regular book. Uh, Jessica Drew's here. I can't tell if these things are in their own continuity or part of the Marvel continuity. I don't know. It does make clear connections to what's going on in Carol's uh, life. Um, it's a fun story uh, dealing with her Florkin cat, and there might be more Florkins kind of infesting New York, and she's kind of trying to figure out the mystery of it. Um, a lot of fun. I, I enjoyed this quite a bit. I have no idea how Marvel... Why doesn't Marvel just make this? I don't understand. I suspect that IDW and Marvel have the same owners. They have some kind of tie. I, I don't know. Uh, but I guess Marvel was like, well, we make 80,000 books a month. Maybe we could let IDW do a couple things. I don't know. That's very nice of you, Marvel. Uh, also, Daredevil. Okay. Chip Sardowski, Daredevil. Just get it. This is, like, the best this book's been in a long time. And the book's been pretty good. Um, yeah, we're into, what, 10 and 11 issues, but I'm, I am think I'm ready to say that this run has the potential of being one of those important, strong Daredevil runs that, you know, you should read. Like, oh, hey, everyone should read the Miller and the Bendis and the Ann Nuchini and, like, the Mark Wade runs. Um, this one, too. This is really good stuff. Just buy it. Uh, Rory Williams Ironheart. Uh, I'm not picking up Iron Man, but I decided to start picking up Ironheart just for the heck of it. And this is by Eve Ewing and uh, Lacano Vecchetto. And I really love the art. The art is sensational. And Rory is one of those characters like I hear people talk about, but since I wasn't buying any of the Iron Man titles, I really didn't have too much exposure to the character, and so for the heck of it, I decided to pick up her book. And, I don't know, I really like her. Maybe it's the way e Ewing writes her, versus the way Bendis used to write her, I don't know. Uh, but she definitely seems like uh, this kind of, like, this introverted, really guarded person who is <laughs> jumping into the superhero life because she's a genius, and this kind of, like, finds her, I guess she has OCD, she's really, she, she gets really obsessed with every, anything she works on, and she just can't let things go, uh, and that's, right now she's currently in this mystery, uh, dealing with the Ten Rings stuff, and she's been going, uh, to, like, working with people like the Wasp and Doctor Strange, and now she's in Wakanda, the Wakanda stuff is really great, um, uh, so, yeah, this book's really fun so far. Uh, Justice League, I've been picking up since the uh, No Justice miniseries. I have thoroughly enjoyed it and been bored and been okay with it and then bored again and then super excited. I've literally dro almost dropped this book like five times while uh, reading it over the last year or two. The art is gorgeous. This is Scott Snyder, of course. And I just absolutely love the art here. Oh! actually picked up uh, one of the issues that didn't have the art that I like so much. Uh, but it does kind of like have a Justice League animated uh, quality to it with the team, uh, Rouster, and some of the adventures they go on. Um, I just decided to drop this book, by the way, because it's been kind of focused on the same story for the last 20 30 issues, and I'm kind of just done with it, you know, we're, and it doesn't seem to be slowing down or wrapping up, it seems to be, like, accelerating, and I'm kind of done with it. Um, I was like, okay, I'm with you for 25 issues, 26 issues, uh, I, I, I'm going to pull the cord, I'm going to walk out on this one. Uh, but, let's see, if you like that stuff, definitely get it, the art is gorgeous. Uh, it's not one of those books I'm dropping because... I hate it or it's bad or anything like that. I'm just kind of done. Um, also with DC, uh, Greg Rocket's Lois Lane, great stuff. Um, what's nice is it doesn't seem too superhero-ish. I like superhero comics that investigate like other parts of these universes. Like Jessica Jones, Alias uh, did that very well. Uh, s some of the uh, question stuff does that well. And Lois Lane is perfect for that kind of, like, uh, storytelling. And Greg Rucka, Greg Rucka is a great comic book writer. I uh, really like his stuff. And uh, he's 
I would love to see this continue on as a, as a regular ongoing, but I don't know. We'll see. Uh, one, let's see, another book that's uh, I'm enjoying is Jason Aaron's Avengers. Uh, it's very similar in uh, tone because it has a big arching story arc uh, with its team. But uh, Jason Aaron, I think, just kind of does a better job mixing things up to the point where I don't get uh, too bored with what the main storyline is doing. Uh, also, it's got She-Hulk as a main character, and right now she doesn't have a title, so I buy any book with She-Hulk in it. That's basically how you get me. Uh, wonderful stuff. Champions is just about wrapping up, which makes me sad. Uh, Jim Zub did a great job picking up after uh, Mark Wade left, and... Uh, this is a really good time. This is a really good title. And I'm sorry that uh, I don't know. Maybe there is a future with Champions. Maybe they'll bring it back, uh, but uh, most likely it won't be with uh, Jim's up writing, which is too bad. Uh, this has been a really good series, and I guess I'm ending on Steven Universe. And Steven Universe has been interesting because uh, uh, the first couple of years of Steven Universe comics, uh, they were all one and done, like uh, towny episodes issues and they were just okay they were they, they were pleasant uh lately they've been doing like story arcs and dealing with some of the stuff and fallout from the tv series uh which has made the series a bit more of an interesting read uh they're still doing townie one shots uh but they they have a little bit more weight to them uh currently who's writing this um sarah gailey is writing this uh grace craft was writing it for a while and doing some really good stuff uh, they did a great uh, Lars of the Stars story arc a couple of issues ago, which was really entertaining. Uh, so, yeah, this is a pretty good series. If you're a Steven Universe fan, I do recommend checking out the comics. And I feel like I'm going to do some reviews of some of the other comics on uh, this channel instead of my uh, own. So, that's what I'm currently reading. And literally, that could change month in, month out. Uh, let me know in the comments below, what are you reading? Uh, are you reading any of these titles? What do you think of them? Uh, is there any, are there any titles you think I should be reading or at least take a look at? Uh, let me know. And of course, this is Comic Universe. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you can get informed from all our shenanigans here on the channel. And don't forget, I have my own channel. Uh, check out The Real Manos. Uh, I'll put the links in below and stuff. So I think that's it for now. Push the button, Lindsay.